One Bukharian guy one time came to me with a woman. He wants to get divorced. Why? Sometimes he gets home and there's no hot meal waiting. Like in his house, he got used to his mother always make a hot meal for the father. And she is not respecting him enough. Meaning, how is it possible that I come sometimes there's no hot meal? <laughs> so I told him, you're not embarrassed? For this, you want to get divorced? And then she said, what do you want? I work until 5.36. By the time I get home, I don't have time to me. I have to go to the supermarket, do shopping, when work. Not every day I have time to cook for him. I told him, what's the problem? Take some pretzels with hummus and eat. A cucumber. What's the big deal? No. By us, when a man comes home, it has to be a hot meal. So I told him, get out of this Muslim mentality of your family. Get out of it. That's not the mentality of the Torah. A woman is not a servant. If she goes and walks out of the house, you eat pretzels if you need to. Or you just pick up something from the restaurant. Don't put extra pressure on her. You should come and say to her, don't cook. I'll manage with a sandwich with cold cut. That's a good husband. Not when she comes home at 6, after, or she all day with the kids, driving her crazy in a vacation time. Where is my meal? You understand? But the Gemara means that if a woman did not cook your food right, and you're thinking about divorcing her, it means you really never love her. You don't, you don't love her. So you find excuses about the food. When there is tension, every little thing disturbs him. Why there's a mess? Why this is here? Why you didn't pay the bill? But we have another two weeks. But I told you to pay it today. He doesn't care about the bill. She's annoying him. He's looking for reasons to start a fight because he's frustrated from her. Why is it? Because maybe she gained a lot of weight. Maybe she doesn't take care of her beauty anymore. Maybe she never dressed nice like she used to. Maybe she doesn't take showers and she smells and she sweats. That's why women have to know that one of the things to make shalom bait is always to keep themselves looking nice in front of their husband. I know some women, they put makeup before they go to sleep. Right? And in the morning when the husband wake up, yeah, let's see who fell asleep before her. She was reading in there. Eh? She goes, she puts extra makeup that by the morning... He won't see. Maybe her skin is not perfect. I don't know. Eyeliner. Why? Smart woman. Yeah, it looks stupid. No, she's smart. Because all it needs here and there that she's not going to look pretty in front of you and your Yetzirah will begin. What do you need there? There's others. That's the stupid world we live in, especially with the internet and what's going on today out there in the world. So that's why Rabotai... We have to remember, the Torah is the solution. Women, when you get dressed, make sure you love how they look. Do not surrender to the pressure of the Shatchanim. Do not believe someone that tells you, don't worry, the love will come later. <laughs> you have to build it together. Yes, once in a while it may happen. Most of the time in this generation it will not happen, and I'm talking to you from 25 years of experience. It just not happened. So you understand? So I think we covered so far everything, but let's look into the rest of the questions. So we answer this one. Once he's already with her and we got to this situation, we are, we are in a serious problem that may not have a solution. The solution was not to get married in first place. Why? Because you never liked her. Same thing women. You don't like the way he looks. There's no point. He's the best learner in the yeshiva. He's going to be the new Rav Ovadia Yosef. But how will I live with him in the same room for 50 years if I don't like him? That's what Hashem expects me to suffer 50 years that because he's sitting in yeshiva and learning? In this generation, that's what Hashem expects from young girls? It's not going to last a year. She's going to always be depressed, always be sad. It's a disaster. 
you must like the woman and she must like the man. And if not, he can get married. Better to stay single than to marry the wrong person. Remember this. You may be jealous with a lot of your friends that are married, and they may even have children, and you may sometimes go to their house for Shabbat, and you see a Shabbat with the family, and you think, you think I'm single, I'm 25, I'm 28, I'm 30, whatever the case is. There's nothing to be jealous with some of them. Some of them are so miserable inside because of the marriage. So your situation is much better than them. Make sure you marry the right person. And do not be pressured by anyone to make decision against your heart. The stipler, the holy stipler, the father of Rav Chaim Kanievsky said that once there is a doubt, once there is a doubt, you cannot get married. Yeah, I'm not sure. No, you, you like her? I don't know. One day yes, one day no. It's a doubt. What's going to happen? In two or three months, it can be a disaster. Marriage is not uh, taking a roommate from the newspaper. Worst comes to worst, I get rid of him after a month. It's responsibility. It's, it's wedding. After all the efforts, two or three months later to get divorced, it's breaking a lot of hearts. That's why there's no room for mistakes. 